Hi yogis, welcome to the class. We are going to move with the breath today. So it's more of a flow. We are not going to hold the poses for too long and we'll try to just move even in them. So not really staying in them. I hope you will like it. <laughs> so we're, we'll start in um, with the crisscrossed kind of sun salutations or katona sun salutations so let's stand up and come to the front of your mat we are going to start with the right foot in front of the left so crossing the right right knee is at the front of the left there is not much here to do <laughs> it doesn't matter how far your feet are away from each other just find a position where it feels somehow okay for you to be there. And the arms are trying always to go through the center. So um, we're not really going through the sides, but more through the center line in front of us. So bring the palms together. Reach them up. We can connect the elbows. Stretch up, inhaling. And then exhaling, fold. This is the first fall. Go really gentle with it. Inhale, halfway lift. Step the left foot back. The legs are almost in one line. Then bring the palms, elbows together. Reach up. Inhale, strong legs here to support you. Exhale, palms down and step the right foot in front of the left. Inhale, roll the spine and come with the shoulders forward into a plank position. And exhaling, use your fingertips here, grab them into the mat, release the hips towards the ground. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, heart forward. And exhale into the chest, around the spine, and press it into downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts up. Exhale, left knee to the chest, and step it in between the palms at the front. Right knee down, so Anjane on the other side, palms, elbows together, and then reach them up. The elbows maybe go away from each other, and then bring the fingertips forward. Exhaling, folding. Inhale, lift. Halfway, and exhale, fold. And palms come together, elbows together, slowly with straight spine. Come all the way up. You can bend the knees a little bit. And exhale, palms to your heart. So strong legs here, activate your feet, your toes, reach your arms up as you inhale. Exhale, bend the knees a little bit maybe to fold. Inhale, lift. Elongate the spine, roll the shoulders back, right foot steps back, right knee down. Inner thighs are squeezing in to find the stability reach up inhale exhale palms flat on the mat left steps in front of the right the legs are still crossed inhale roll forward into plank exhale hips come towards the ground but not really touching inhale we will stay here here roll the shoulders back hard forward even looking up exhale chin to the chest Bring the chest bone up as you press back. Downward facing, right leg comes up. Inhale. Exhale. Step it forward. In between the palms. Left knee down. Inhale. And Jane, reach up. Stretching up. Exhale. Fingertips forward and fold. Inhale. Lift halfway. Again, you can bend the knees. Exhale, folding. Palms together, elbows together. Maybe bending the knee slightly as you come all the way up, stretching up. Slide the back bend here. Exhale, palms to your heart. So we'll go one more time each side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Up to your lungs. Inhale, lift. Open your collarbones. Exhale, left foot down, knee down. Keep pressing from the left foot, from the right foot. Reach up, breathe in, exhale. 
grip the right foot in front of the left adjust your feet if you need to for your plank inhale exhale hips down inhale in your upward facing dog variation exhale rounding rolling the spine back left foot goes up inhale exhale step it forward right knee down inhale again active feet as you reach up it's a little bit harder to balance if your feet are more in one line exhale step forward right behind your left and folding the legs are crossed the other way palms together maybe elbows together reach up maybe pushing the hips back exhale directly into your fold inhale lift halfway right foot steps back inhale andrenayasana low lunge exhale palms down step the left in front of the right inhale plank position exhale dipping the hips inhale roll the shoulders back and down open the heart exhale maybe for a change go through a back bend back into downward facing dog right leg comes up as you breathe in breathe out knee to the chest step the foot forward last low lunge here inhale reach up and exhale fingertips forward step forward with the left behind the right and fold inhale halfway lift and exhale fold inhale slowly up into your back bend exhale palms to your heart and cross your legs and close your eyes you can bring your feet as wide as your hips for a little bit more stability and then you can even press your thumbs in towards your heart and just listen or feel your heartbeat and your breath as well take a bigger inhale and exhale through the nose or through the mouth and go one more inhale and exhale all right open your eyes bring the feet even wider still at the front of the mat and we're going to reach the arms forward and bending the knees to the side slowly sit the hips down into malasana and in here you can move side to side you're going to bring one knee and then the other towards the ground maybe using fingertips uh, in front of you on the ground take a breath in and then breath out and then end up in the middle you don't have to be really um all the way towards like um releasing down so you can come a little bit higher even lifting your heels if you need to palms to your heart heart forward inhale and then exhale the left hand goes through the front to the left side reaching it far reaching the right arm up away from it looking up inhaling allowing the right knee to press even further out exhale back to the center second side so right arm reaches through the right left arm comes up inhale so you're trying to open the chest here and the left knee away and exhale back to the center let's go one more time to the left breathe in exhale center inhale right side and exhale back to the center and bring the palms down right underneath the shoulders stretch your fingers maybe index fingers are facing forward lean into the palms almost as if you wanted to go into a crow pose maybe even going into the crow pose if you have that position and then step or jump back into downward facing dog inhale roll forward into your plank position adjust your feet and your hands 
Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Gonna go all the way towards the ground, trying to slowing it down. Inhale into your cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Bring the knees down into tabletop position. Inhale into your cow tilt, arching the spine, long neck. And exhale around the spine. The belly comes in. One more inhale into your cow. Try to send the shoulders back and together. And exhale. Rounding. Belly comes in. Then reach your palms forward or come onto the fingertips if that's something that you think will help you or may will make you feel a little bit better in your elbows relax the head in between your arms and with an inhalation we're going to reverse we will inhale and around the spine getting away from the ground opening the front of the hips and with an exhalation you can even look forward and arching the spine and then closing the space in the front of the hips inhale round and open at the front and exhale come towards the ground and go one more time chin to the chest maybe exhale maybe looking forward and then come away again inhale and palms underneath the shoulders tuck your toes and press your hips all the way up Inhale, we are going to bring the right leg up. Exhale, bending the knee and opening the hips. Inhale here, you can extend the leg with the hips staying open. Flex the right ankle and exhale, big circle away from the ground to the right side with your right foot and stepping the foot from the outside of the right palm. Set your left heel down. Inhale, left arm reaches up for your arm. Oh, for your. Um, side angle pose and exhale reach your left arm over the head then do a big circle with your left hand down and inhale again reach the left arm up looking towards your fingertips and then reaching it over the head inhale look down and exhale bring the hips back extending the right knee inhale again bend the right knee you can bring the left foot closer and exhale, trying to straighten with the feet active on the ground, pressing down, maybe looking up as you inhale. Exhale, left palm comes down. Left heel lifts, this time with the right hand, so it comes forward over the head, the opposite direction, and exhale back towards the leg, then through the outside of the right leg. Reach the right arm forward, up, and then flex the right ankle and roll onto the outer side of your feet as you reach back. One more time. Square your hips forward, reach your right arm up, and or forward and up, and exhale. Roll onto the outer side as you reach back. Then bring the right leg, right hand forward, then onto the ground, into your lizard pose. You can move here forward backwards you can come onto your block with your forearms if you have a block we're trying to keep that right leg this time squared and the right knee somehow trying to come towards the right shoulder take an inhalation elongate the neck move the shoulders back exhale front ribs in and release the left knee down into the ground onto the ground reach your right arm up and back looking back maybe bring the hips a little bit higher in order to grab the foot another option is to reach to the side and grab the grab the foot more from the below and then eventually as you have the foot bring the hips forward and squeeze that knee or the heel <laughs> towards your hips inhale kick it back and grab the foot from the outer side of your foot and exhale Press it towards your hips, the hips towards the heel. 
one more inhale kick it back you can open the right knee and exhale squaring it again and stretching that quadriceps and slowly very carefully we're going to roll through the knee this might be not comfortable for your knee so maybe bringing the hips a little bit more back might help or cushioning the knee with something until you can bring the whole shin down and sit from the back or behind that heel then grab with your right hand your left knee reach the left arm up inhale so twisting slightly to the left and exhale side bend to the right side inhale come up look up and exhale side bend towards the right leg stretching the left side body then inhale come up left palm comes from the left side of the left hip <laughs> and bring the hips up right arm comes up you can press into the left palm and right foot and then lifting the left foot bring the knee right in between your palm and your right foot reach up inhale and exhale right arm over your head and stretch the right side body inhale again press through the left palm right foot and try to lift your left leg then bring the knee to your chest inhale and extend the leg and slowly sit down into your butt point your fingers up or your toes up rather arms up inhale and exhale either stay here and work on tilting the pelvis forward that helps when you start leading with your chest forward or maybe folding a little bit towards the ground inhale lift a little bit you can grab your feet your toes your ankles your shins rather and exhale go a little bit more forward and bring the palms right in between or in front of your hips the fingers are going to spread squeeze or bend the elbows try to lean forward maybe lifting the hips maybe the heels up inhaling and exhaling release down palms to the front coming onto the right toes left knee to your chest inhale exhale extend the left leg behind you for this one-legged plank position inhale here try to bring the chest in but then roll the shoulders back exhale try to run it down inhaling into your back bend and exhale downward facing dog the second side left leg comes up breathe in exhale bend the knee open the hips inhale extend the leg you can flex the ankle bringing the right heel high big circle with your left leg all the way stepping it from the outside of your left palm right heel spins down inhale right arm reaches forward and up and then exhale again forward keeping your gaze looking up inhale release the arm towards the ground then to the back and up and exhale extend over the head and stretch the whole right side then look down again the right foot can come a little bit closer and with an exhalation bring the hips back extending the left knee to your best ability doesn't have to be all the way inhale you bend and exhale bring the hips all the way back maybe look up as you inhale and exhale right palm comes down into your twist so left arm comes up and right heel up inhale look up exhale reach back behind you big circle with your left hand through the outer side of your left leg forward inhale and then they stand flex the left ankle and roll onto the outer side of your right foot and reach all the way back dipping the hips down square forward inhale reach forward exhale open to the side reach back hips down and back forward 
into your lizard position in your lizard you can always drop the back knee however then you will not have this ability to move back and forward or side to side and try to square the left knee towards your shoulder elongate the spine as you inhale and then exhale one more breath exhaling then bend the right knee this time towards the ground if you didn't already left arm reaches up and bend your right knee and try to grab your foot again do it your way if you need to lift your hips and grab it from underneath then eventually bring your hips lower you can come onto your right fingertips especially if you are a little bit shorter arms inhale kick the foot back open your heart so you're trying to roll the shoulders back and exhale the hips and the heel come closer together relax your face inhale kick it back you can open the left knee to the side exhale squeeze that heel or press the heel towards your hips one more inhale and exhale and again very careful so this when you stay really low with your hips it can be really not good not good for your inside knee especially if you know that, that you have problems with your inside of the knee so we can go a little bit higher onto this more flatter part of your knee and then turn more onto the on the front side of the knee rather than going to the inside of the knee until they can bring the shin down extending the left leg left foot you can flex the left ankle you can grab your knee again short arm short arm people will have more troubles so you can close your legs a little bit or maybe grab more your thigh than your knee right arm comes up and exhale side bend towards the left side inhale come up try to twist your soul towards your right leg and exhale side bending inhale come up right palm comes from towards the back close to your right hip the left foot tries to uh, go flat on the ground so you can lift your hips left arm comes up inhale press into the right hand left foot and try to bring that right knee the same kind of line as your palm and the foot inhale look up exhale reach your left arm over your head and feel the stretch on the left side even squeeze the right inhale exhale try to lift your right knee off the ground inhale here and then strong right hand right fingertips as you slowly lower your hips with your exhalation onto the mat again opening the legs to the sides this time if you like you can bring the fingertips behind your back and slide the hips a little bit more forward to open your legs slightly more out reach your arms up stretch up and then exhale you can bring your hands behind your back and even go for either the backs of the palms together or you can interlace the fingers with the back of the palms together or maybe trying to reverse the palms go with palms coming towards each other reversing or basically anjali mudra but on your back inhale maybe bending the knees definitely trying to point the knees slightly more up and then exhale just a little bit of a tilt forward just so you feel the inside of your thighs in in case you don't really f uh, feel them if you already feel them here you can stay here trying to move the shoulders back breathe and elongate exhale and press from your feet from your legs to lift if you were folded reach your arms up again and exhale palms in front of you so this time we will go for a different kind of uh, lift we'll actually bring the right hand to the outside of the right thigh again the palms are somehow close to the leg maybe as wide as your shoulders you lean towards the right leg 
you open your heart a little bit and then you use your fingertips and try to lift your hips up maybe the right ankle inhale there and then exhale release left side inhale exhale fold a little bit over the left leg inhale open the heart exhale lift the hips maybe the left ankle stay for the inhale exhale release all right and bring how did we get out of this position <laughs> um yes like this right palm behind you and then you bring the left palm down the right leg right knee to your chest inhale and then exhale extend the right leg all the way to the back inhale elongate the neck exhale lower down into your chaturanga or all the way onto the mat inhale into your back bend exhale downward facing dog and then let's take that one position that we are going to actually hold which is child's pose so bring the knees down forehead down you can keep your arms over the head or arms beside your body once you are in your child's pose try to fully release your shoulders feel your head heavy and take a big inhalation through the nose and then exhale maybe through the nose or mouth do that two more times And then a release from the control of your breath. If you like, you can move side to side. And take one more breath there. And bring the palms underneath your shoulders lift yourself into a seat so we will go for a few twists but they are going to be more um, active <laughs> more moving rather than um, staying in them you can do this uh, while standing or you can sit in um, maybe on your heels or cross leg it doesn't matter either way you're trying to have your hips somehow just fixed so you are yeah if you are sitting the hips are going to be fixed if you are standing you have to fix them a little bit more with your legs and then just twist to the right side look all the way back and once you um go into it and you're at your fullest just do a little bit of a <laughs> into it so you try to go and push a little bit more into it and then come back to the center and then to the other side look back and then move with a little bit of momentum into it so inhale come to the center and with an exhalation we'll twist reaching the right hand a little bit more back and then twisting a little bit inhale back to the front exhale twist and push it and then one more time to each side exhaling you can bring the fingertips behind you and use them to move and your left hand on your right knee exhale to the other side all right and then we'll just move with the arms in the twists so you can breathe as much as you like here in whatever tempo you like and just this is one is probably a little bit better when you are standing although the hips should be fixed there as well and you can add your head to allow the hands to bring you a little bit more into the twist so you're using the momentum of your hands to twist yourself a little bit more and continue for three two and one 
and release. All right. So find a seat, maybe sitting on your heels or cross-legged if you were standing, maybe changing your seat. Bring the palms onto your knees. Close your eyes. Try to relax your shoulders, but then grow through the top of the head, elongating the neck from the sides and from the back. And then coming towards the awareness of your breathing. Relaxing your face. Maybe noticing how the breath, how the air flows in and out through your nose, through your nostrils. Maybe feeling it on the top of the lip. Notice how you are feeling, not just physically, but more also mentally after the practice. Again, maybe noticing your heartbeat, if it's possible for you, maybe it's in your palms, maybe in your fingertips. If you have not the best ability to do this, which some people do, a lot of people do. You can also bring the right hand on your chest, maybe the left on to the right one. I'm trying to detect the heartbeat there. And then bring the palms together in front of your heart. We're going to take a double or triple inhale through the nose. Very fast one, very short one. And then side out through the mouth. And let's do that one more time. And exhale. Closing your lips, inhale through the nose, this time soft and long. Exhaling, bowing the head down. Slowly lifting the head, making your eyes open. Thank you so much for practicing with me and see you next time.